Waking up next to my favorite boy. And Dylan's here too. My. <laughs> you didn't like that one? <laughs> I said favorite boys. No, I just said boy. <laughs> but also, my favorite. Okay, why are you trying to make him growl for my video? Can you not? He's being adorable, and then you're trying to make him look mean. Okay, I'm just wanting to get him cute for a sec, please. Rocky, you're looking very handsome today. <laughs> okay, here we go. I love when Dylan walks Rocky because the contrast in body size. <laughs> He's so small. He's a widow. Dylan's wearing his tank top right now as it's about 57 degrees outside. <laughs> it is extremely cold and breezy. Thank you. I got this hat at Gwenny's birthday. Oh, I thought that was your bachelorette hat. No. I also had custom hats made for my bachelorette, but this is not one of them. This one's very cute. This one's embroidered. The one I got is not embroidered because it was much cheaper to not do it embroidered. So I really like to walk on this street because I like to look at the houses. <laughs> we don't usually have this much difficulty <laughs> um, walking <laughs> Rocky. He's just too small to understand spatial awareness. Whoa, look how many dogs that lady has. She must be a dog walker, always pooping. So I don't usually pick up the poop because I, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, this is how you, okay. It's a little runny. Yeah, it is. Okay, 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 get away from it. This is like documentary style, like, like pretend I'm, pretend I'm, hey, AD, but it's the neighborhood. <laughs> You know what my favorite episode of, ah, of Architectural Digest was? was um, Dakota Johnson. She had a bowl of limes, but then she later revealed in an interview that she's allergic to limes. It was just a problem. <laughs> did you know that? I did not know that. Now you do. I do. So up here is called The Hangout. <laughs> this is where... Our dearest friends, Claire and Evan, had their rehearsal dinner. It was very beautiful. Are you still filming? Okay, now look at the houses. This is this is where I like to look. I really like this red one up here and also this white one with the stone. And this one. I like all of them. But I like the red one the most. Dylan likes this one the most. Oh. All this car is blocking the house. Isn't it beautiful? Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're okay. Scared little man. 
we got back from our walk. I accidentally got kind of in a cranky mood, so I had to decompress a little bit. And now I'm about to hop on a call. It is 11.56, my call's at 12. I'm pretty excited for it. The call is for our tuxes, or Dylan and the groomsmen's tuxes for our wedding. Oh, excuse me. I'm starving. And they're called Generation Tux. Yeah, there's been so much going on with wedding planning. <laughs> That's why I haven't been on here, but I feel like this is like the time where I really should try to be on here because I know that I'm gonna want to look back. And you know, like this is, this is my bridal era. I'm very excited about it and I'm really enjoying it. But I've been just like so preoccupied and like mentally, I don't wanna say exhausted, but just I'm like so focused on wedding planning that like doing anything else is like not hard, but like I just don't think to do this. And I don't think to like, I don't know. Like it's also like I wanna share everything I'm doing for wedding planning, but I also don't want to like spoil it. Like I want it to, you know, our actual wedding, I want stuff to be a surprise and that sort of thing. Okay, I have to go now. After I eat, I think I'm gonna go to Costco. I forget if I already said that. I'm gonna get groceries for the week. I feel like every time I'm there, I just am kind of like, oh. But Dylan went to Costco like two or three weeks ago and he got so much stuff and then it lasted us two or three weeks. So I feel like it's just a better bang for your buck. And yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna finish cooking this chicken and then I will circle back with you. I always make a collagen drink. This is like our drink stuff, but it's a little messy right now. I think I'm gonna do, yeah, hydration stick and then this collagen powder. And I was telling whoever I was telling, I've been telling a lot of people, but I seriously think this collagen powder is why my hair has grown so much. Like, and it's so thick. I'm just very happy. I feel like the collagen is actually doing something. And there is a little scooper in here, but <laughs> I use a spoon because the scooper is in the powder and I don't like how it feels on my hands. And then I just do it with the hydration stick just for some flavor. I'm just gonna do half because it is so, what's the word, like pungent? or like, it's way too like concentrated if I do the whole thing. And then a little bit of water. My chicken's probably burning. Oh, in college, <laughs> my roommate, we, so it was me and my roommate Kaylee, we shared a room and then my other two roommates shared a room. But so me and Kaylee were in our room and then my roommate Emily came in and she was like, my chicken's on fire. And whenever I cook chicken, I think of that. Because her chicken caught on fire. My chicken did not catch on fire. I would normally like to have some vegetables with this, but we honestly don't really have any food right now. These Chick-fil-A little thingy mabob. I'm gonna do a buffalo and a Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay, well this is my lunch for all of you who have requested that I share it. It's 12.54 right now, so. It's almost one o'clock. I'll probably eat this and then head out to Costco probably in like 30 minutes, realistically. I am finally en route to Costco. I got a message from the guy who's making our invitations, our wedding invitations. I forget if I already said this, <laughs> but there's a man who is making our wedding invitations. He is awesome. His name is Raul and he lives in India. <laughs> But he messaged me saying, do you have the rest of your addresses that you, like, because he's doing our addresses as well for sending them out. And for some reason, I thought that he, I thought that I was waiting on him. And then I thought that I was going to have to, like, place another order for, like, other addresses. I don't know what I was thinking, but he was like, hey, so I'm waiting on the rest of your addresses so I could send out or like ship your stuff. I made that way more complicated than it needed to be, but basically I had to work on that. I think that that is the most stressful part for me is the who, like the guest list or like the addresses, who are we inviting? For some reason for me, that has been like the biggest stress factor. 
like I don't want to be like entertaining at my wedding like I want us to be present and enjoying it with people who we know and who we love and who love us and how I think about it is like if I wouldn't be offended if I wasn't invited to your wedding or like your birthday or whatever then you should not be expecting to be invited to mine like if you don't really know me and I don't really know you then you shouldn't be expecting to come to our wedding I guess that's my opinion on it but there's so many opinions you know and different ways of doing it but I've enjoyed it a lot I've enjoyed the wedding process and planning and as you guys know this is like my whole life right now is planning this wedding I'm very grateful and very excited but at a certain point it does start to feel like you're planning it for other people more than you're planning it for yourself and I feel that way especially when we're talking about the guest list <laughs> I don't know why it feels like an entertainment for others and that's an aspect of it that I don't like I don't want to keep talking about it but. and I'm very grateful and I really am excited I think once we send out the invitations I'll feel a lot better Dylan might meet me at Costco I'm not sure yet because the gym is right by Costco. Oh no, I'm in the wrong lane. Ah, made it. There's always construction going on at this area, this intersection, but there's like never anything done. I have no idea. Like, there's never any workers. It's just like, okay, they took down the light. I haven't driven over here in a long time, I guess. Yeah. Oh. My husband calling. Uh, bad time to call. Oh no. I almost just hit the curb. Hello? Hello? Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Uh, so, just got off the phone with Dylan, and he's like, uh, he was gonna meet me at Costco, as I said. Could you? Excuse me. But I just talked to him and he was like, honestly, I'm so tired, I don't know. I was like, well, why are you so tired? He's like, well, I haven't eaten today. Are all men like this? Or is this just like the men in my family? Cause my dad is like that too, where like Dylan won't eat all day. And then he'll be like, I'm just so starving. I haven't eaten all day. It's like, well, no one told you not to eat all day. Why aren't you eating? Feed yourself. Why don't you eat? And my dad does that too. He'll be like, I... I need to go right now because I haven't eaten all day. No one told you not to eat. Just eat. But anyways, we're here. We parked. It was a little bit awkward. I always feel very awkward in the Costco parking lot because the parking is terrible. And I found a spot and I waited for the person to pull out. And then I was going to pull in, you know. But then this lady was coming from the opposite direction. And I think that she thought that she was going to have the spot. But I was already like in line for the spot. And when she like waved at me to go, like I think she thought I was gonna go straight, but then I parked. So now I'm just trying to kind of wait it out until she goes inside so that she doesn't recognize me and beat me up. Yeah, just hanging out for a little bit, but I am getting a little sweaty. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try to make this really as quick as possible. It's 2.40. I'm probably not gonna film in there because just it's too much to handle. It's like filming, shopping, pushing those dang carts, too much for me. So I'm gonna go in and come back out in under one hour. I will not spend more than an hour in Costco. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do it, which I'm, I think I can, but. Well, my camera got too hot and died, so I'm not sure where I was left talking, <laughs> but. I forgot to tell you guys, when I was in Costco, I saw this lady, pretty sure like fresh off the surgery table, her boobs were like, picture like a grapefruit with like skin over it. It was literally like two like globes, like globes of the world just on her chest. But I think she wanted it that way because it was out there for everyone to see. When people don't have their gosh darn blinker on and then I'm waiting for you to drive past me but you're turning I think that is like so rude and annoying I'm not always annoyed I promise I'm not maybe I have a 
a problem, an attitude problem. <laughs> I'm just kind of easily agitated, I think. <laughs> not easily, but kind of. But it's not that deep. Like, I get irritated and then I get over it quickly. Except for the times where I don't and then I get upset for a long time. It's okay. So yeah, very excited that we now have some food to eat and to snack on. I think I already said this, but Dylan did the grocery shopping last time. He went to Costco and he got a box of chips. Like, a box of chips that you would, like, feed a soccer team with or, like, the entire second grade. And then I eat them all, you know? I eat all the chips and then I don't feel very well and I don't look very well either. I never diet. I am not super strict on a diet. I don't, like, do anything like that. But... Generally speaking, I do like to shop relatively healthy just because I just feel better. Like, if we have chips in the house, I'm eating them. So it's better if we have carrots in the house or strawberries. Because if we have 300 bags of Doritos, I will be eating the 300 bags of Doritos. My camera keeps getting really hot. I sort of feel like maybe I need to get a new one. Oh, the other day, the other night, this boy who... I have known since high school, I've known him for a very long time. He used to date one of my friends, but then they broke up. It's been years, she has a new boyfriend, he has a new girlfriend. Like it's been literally like 10 years, so it's fine. But you have your friends who are like your couple's friends and you do like couple's things together. Or you have your friends who they go out a lot or your church friends or your going out to lunch friends or your you know, like, certain people you do different things with, I feel like, maybe? Whatever. Anyways, this boy, he was, like, in, he was, like, the going out party box in my eyes. Like, I just feel like he was, like, you know, whatever in that phase of his life. But the past few times I have seen him and hung out with him, he is with his girlfriend, and... She is awesome and amazing, and I really, really like her and get along with her really well. The other night, they came over. Dylan and him were playing a game, like a boy game, where they're, like, throwing throwing things. <laughs> and so me and her, me and his girlfriend, were sitting and talking, and then we were like, let's play a game. Like, let's all play a game together. And she goes up to him. She goes, hey, like, you want to play a game now? And then he goes to Dylan, and he's like, the girls want to play a game now. Like, let's play a game. And then later in the night like we played a game and then she like looks at the clock and she like looks at him she's like i think it's time to go now and he was like yeah okay i'll call the uber or whatever like it's like oh my gosh and that is probably like one of my favorite things to like see in other relationships is when it's like tangible is that the word tangible palpable when you can see and feel respect like within a couple like how much they respected each other and just i just i love that like i find that to be so attractive like in a person not like romantically attractive but like that it, that's the type of people like i want to associate with are people that have like respect within their own relationships like i don't know i just i thought it was very sweet to see that it really goes to show you, a man will change for the woman who he wants to change for. Like, if a man loves you and wants you, he will he will step up and be right for you, you know? Oh, my camera's getting hot. But I'm proud to have the friends that I have. I really am. I think that I have the best, most amazing friends and love my friends to death. Well, I'm almost home. I'm gonna see my family, my little dog, and my fiance. When I'm in the car driving by myself, I don't listen to music usually because I love sitting alone with my thoughts. I feel like that's like the only time where I'm truly alone is when I'm driving alone. You know, because even when you're at home or like not driving, like you have access to your phone, you can have the TV on. You have, you know, I have Rocky, Dylan, like there's just something going on. But to just like be driving in the silence of your own thoughts, it's kind of therapeutic. It really is. I just realized I'm really chomping on this gum. So I apologize for that. I hate when people chew with their mouth open and I hate when people chew loudly. So I 
apologize if I was doing either of those things. I probably was. I honestly love being alone. I don't like feeling alone, <laughs> but physically, I like being alone. I like bebopping around by myself. I do think it's weird to think about that I have never lived all by myself and I probably never will, hopefully. I mean, at this point, hopefully. I went from living with my family to having roommates to now living with Dylan. And uh, yeah, so that was just like a little story that I had, a little side note. Why isn't this working? <gasps> He's naked, what is he doing? This is my Costco haul. Bonza pasta. This is chickpea pasta. Avocado oil. Lactose-free milk. Pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice is very good for you. I don't know why, but that's what I heard. Coffee. Grapes. Rice. Turkey breast. Four sandwiches. Avocado. So much garlic. Buttery steakhouse. Except I bought no steaks. So I don't know when I plan to eat this. Mango chilies. Pan. Salami. Because I like salami. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. Brussels sprouts. Pasta sauce. Pantry staple. Sirloin, pre-sliced, so it's easier for me. Oh, and strawberries, eggs, pepperoni pizzas. What about your toothpaste? Oh, and my toothpaste, because I'm out of toothpaste. I'm usually allergic to this one, but this is the cheapest one. <laughs> so I bought it anyways. <laughs> Aww. Working away. Here's what I was doing the past 30 minutes. We watched a little bit of Game of Thrones. I ate some grapes and I ate some coffee. I didn't showcase it, unfortunately. <laughs> Our camera for when Rocky is home alone and we do not trust him. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we just have a little camera. It's not really because we don't trust him, it's because I have attachment issues to him. I need to watch him in every second. We're gonna go watch baseball now. <laughs> okay, drama queen, you're on the music video. Baseball. Good evening. It is now 8.30. We went on our little evening walk. And now I will be making dinner. I didn't know it was 8.30. I thought it was like 7.30. I have not been drinking alcohol, so I've been pretending. First thing is first, the chicken. We finished eating dinner, and now we're going to watch Game of Thrones and go to bed. Good night.